Hey all fans, it's Nico. It is nearly midnight. Let me just turn my heat down a little bit. It's getting real cold. It is, gosh, the Sunday after Christmas, 27th maybe, and you guys are up pretty high right now. There's also a concophony of boxes that I have set over here to either get out of the way or fold for shipping. And I'm also in the middle of a new collection of things, creatures in, in jars. Look how cute. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Now we're over that. I am interrupting my regular tea schedule once a week upload for tea tasting to bring you a tea that I have designed. I wanted to do an elven spun fandom and designed some teas based off of honestly me and what I like. But I'll, and I want it to reflect my art and my creations. This is the biggest dragon I've made so far. This was a big boy. Um, I want to say it was over 12 inches tall. Maybe just over. But it was, it was a big boy. And he was a present to one of my sweetest, dearest friends in Florida. Who has supported me from the very beginning of Elven Spun. So, we got this. I figured Into the Magic was a good introduction into the magic that I create. And it is a very pretty tea. It's a very fruity tea. But it has delicious fruit pieces and everything. So let me tell you what is in it. Because, you know, I totally kind of forgot the ingredients. Alright, we started with black tea. It's low caffeine. It is, it is a black tea, but it's a low caffeine tea, because I know not everybody's on the caffeine train like I am, but that's cool. So it's black tea, rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural coconut flavor, mango pieces, natural mango flavor, coconut, and Celion Sonata, which is another type of black tea. And this, it smells so good to me. We'll see if it actually tastes good. It might taste like crap, but we will see. It is very fruity very tropical fruity. It is a sense of what I get as my elven character in her homeland working in her garden because she loves greenery. So let us take this and I'm going to try and portion this to a newly washed um, steeper. So I'm going to do that on my knee apparently. I'm a professional. I actually have never taken a tea out of a tin yet, so I'm not sure how. So we're just, we're just gonna work with a little bit. There's a lot of fruit pieces in here. I also have uh, freeze-dried mangoes in the mix as well. I, don't, I guess that's under mango pieces, but that was like, there was an extra addition, like you could do sprinkles or fruit pieces. I really wanted freeze-dried mangoes, which is weird. I like mangoes raw. It's not ne like fresh mangoes. It's not necessarily one of my favorite flavors, but I love dried mangoes. I think it's a lot sweeter. I like mango flavor and uh, mixed in fruit salads. I like mangoes and fruit salads and stuff, but like, I don't know. I do like, oh, there's a big coconut piece. Look at that. I love coconut, by the way. I know. Oh mm, god. I'm not gonna chew on that. Sorry, I'm still just kinda digging around trying not to make a mess. I'm making a little bit of a mess. I'm making a little bit of a mess on my knee, but I can pick up the little pieces that fell. It is really pretty. There's yellow tones and black and brown and red tones. It is just really pretty to look at. But a lot of teas I find very pretty to look at. Okay, let us. This is just the sample tin size. And if this is a freaking awesome one, um, I'm going to get the bigger tin. Let me see what. So you can do a sample tin like this. It makes about five cups. And then you do a three ounce packet pouch. 
that'll still have this picture on it. Or you can get a five ounce tin, which is this picture bigger. And I think it has a decoration around the rim. I did upload a decoration. I wanted to add my, I want to do my art and some of my photography. I'm not a big photographer. My little sister is an amazing one. But sometimes I take some really pretty nature pictures and I wanted to put, combine them together. Okay, wow. That really does smell good. It is very tropically, very, very tropically, very tropic, very fruity scent. I think my next tea is going to end up being an herbal tea. I'm already planning it out, but we have to do this first. If it doesn't work, I need to tweak it, which I'm able to do on Adagio. It's nice. Okay. But I will not, like recommend it if it's not good because honestly it needs to taste good all right there there she is I don't know how long it needs to steep for since it's a black tea black teas are usually pretty quick I'm gonna let it steep for five minutes so I will see you in five minutes it has been four minutes it's been four minutes because on the Atashio site it recommends four minutes for a low caffeine tea so that's what we done do. All right, let me pick her up. I'm gonna untwist. It is the color that I thought it would be. It has that brown black tea color but also the combination I did should give it a reddish color, so kinda, kinda like dragon's blood. Like a deep, rich berry blood color. I know that sounds weird and creepy, but it's, it's, it's just where I went with, in my mind. It smells good. Let me get the little container. Ooh, I dripped a little, but that's okay. Let's see if it's too hot. It should be okay to drink. Here we go. It's hot. Oh, it has a... It has a berry undertone. I did combine three different teas to make this up. Um, I combined the Adagio Celion Sonata and their Mango Melange and their Coconut Tea all together because that is the ingredients I wanted in my tea. But I chose how much of each tea was going to be put in to balance it. I taste an undertone of coconut. Mango is the top note. There is a deep berry taste. I want like I I don't know if it's actual berry, but it it has like a deep berry taste to me. I think just going off the first couple sips, it would be good as an iced tea. It's pretty darn hot though. It is not, it doesn't taste medicinal to me, which is good. I was a little worried about that. I'm gonna do a favor, do the tea a favor. I'm gonna let it cool down for like, like five minutes. And then we'll go back and I'll take a bigger sip. Cause I'm just doing little baby sips and it is very hot. but I think I like it. If I don't, I will be absolutely honest and say I don't. I'm a little worried I'm not going to, but at the same time, it's a learning curve. It's a, it's a thing. So I'll see you in about five minutes. Okie dokie. Let's try this again. It should be a bit cooler. It's still hot, but it should be cooler so I can take a 
bigger gulp. Hmm. Oh, I can definitely um, taste the coconut more. I like that. I like that better. It's more tropical-y. Tropical-y. Yep. The, um, the mango-ness is a little bit, um, it's a little bit of a bite. I'm not going to say it's bitter, but tartness. Tartness has a little bit of tartness that I can taste in the back of my mouth as I swallow it. I think that's decent without sugar, honestly. I really think that this would be a bomb iced tea, but I think hot tea without sugar, I think it's decent. But we all know I take sugar in my tea. I lifted up a little paper with my spoon because I'm working all over. I'm working all over here. It's crazy. All right. Let me add a bit of the good sweet sugar. what it does with that. Hmm. It spread out the mango the mango flavor to the forefront. But I still have coconut and I'm happy that there is a coconut taste swirling in there. It's cut back on the bitterness a lot, which is good. Um, it usually does. I mean, tartness. God, not bitterness, tartness. It's sweetened up the tartness uh, quite a bit. And it kind of reminds me of a wine, like, like maybe an Elven wine, like a hot wine. Fruit wine. Seems fitting. Oh, I definitely like that. I definitely like this. Honestly, I, hands down in the summer, iced tea, this. This is very, it's not, it doesn't evoke like an emotion. Like there's been a couple of teas that I've had that evokes like a memory from childhood. Um, one of them literally tasted like Florida to me. But this is really nice. I am... For my first tea mix, I am quite pleased with this, and I don't think I'm going to change it. Honestly, if I did tweak it, I don't think I'm going to, but, you know, we'll make a final decision. I'll make a note in the description notes if I tweaked it. I would just up the coconut a little bit more and lower the, um, the mango just a bit so it's more balanced because the mango is a much more pronounced flavor. But, but the tartness that was there, it's, it's very not there sweetened. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of like a mulled wine. I am very, I am very pleased with this. I was really worried that I wasn't going to like it and I would just have to like eat it away and start from the beginning. But this is a good beginning. Alright, I'm going to enjoy this. I have dinner reheated sitting next to me. This will be my drink of choice for the night. And I will talk to you later. So, pretty happy with how this turned out. I recommend for it to be sweetened. Um, maybe milk or cream. I could definitely... Yeah, I could definitely see like a milk or cream added into it if you take milk or cream with your tea. I have yet to do that. I need to try that. But I recommend it sweetened. Sweetened. I also recommend it as iced tea. I think it's very satisfying. As it cool, like not, not like 
just off the the stove just out of the kettle it needs to cool I think a little bit um because as it cooled the flavor profile was better better -er, and I wasn't burning my lips um but I could definitely taste the different flavors combined and swirling around but yeah I like it if you want to try it it is called into the magic and it's on Elvin well I'll post the link in Elvin's fun in the grove um, and probably on my main page too. I don't get money off the tea blends. If people buy it, I think I get like reward points that I can use for free tea or whatever. But I don't make money off it. It was just something fun that I really wanted to do. And I finally, you know, got up the courage and edited a picture and took out the whole messy work background and everything. And I like it. And I like the tea. I really, really do enjoy it. I am looking forward to the next one. I already have an idea for it. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely cooled down is not cold, still hot, but cooler. That it's a much more enjoyable flavor profile. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all flames very much. Stay safe, happy and healthy and have a good day. Bye. Mwah.